What's going on guys? Welcome back. Uh, today we're gonna do some musky fishing. I'm up in Canada. I just dropped off my girlfriend Jesse. Uh, we just got done filming a really cool video this morning. Pretty basic, but uh, we did catch two fish and uh, by far the luckiest fish catch I've ever seen. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that, you should go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below and also a link to it at the end of this video. But anyways, um, I'm here, I'm in Lake of the Woods. I'm about to start guiding tomorrow. I've got basically the rest of my month is guiding. I've got one buddy coming up in between then. Uh, but we are here fishing muskies. If you guys have seen my videos before, you know how much I love musky fishing. And I try and teach you guys as much as I can in these small little clips of videos. But today we're going to be fishing bucktails. I've got a beautiful storm here rolling in. So I'm going to shut up, put the camera away, and uh, hopefully show you guys some awesome musky footage. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Pretty one, too. Front hook, again. First cast on the spot. <laughs> so you guys saw me just change, uh, change rods. And I'll talk a little bit about why I did that. And this fish is a perfect example of why. Okay, you want to come right in? Come on in and say hi to everybody. Whew. Well, I, I actually like, couldn't believe there was a fish behind me. I was like, really? First cast on a new spot? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's get you unhooked. Ah, you are not happy. And that one out. That one out. Done. First cast on the spot. That's pretty freaking cool. All right, let's clear this out of the way. Wow. That there, my friends, is a uh, mangled musky frenzy. <laughs> Very cool. So this is actually the first episode I get to do with you guys. I'm kind of pre-fishing in a new area of the lake. I've never fished this spot or really this area. Um, if you guys didn't see the video, me and Jesse, I just dropped Jesse off. I had her for a few days, uh, the fishing with Jesse episodes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed those. If you haven't watched them, you should. They are hilarious. Um, it's me fishing with my girlfriend. And uh, today we had a pretty awesome morning. We had two fish. But anyway, I just dropped her off and getting things rolling here and figured why not start with a sweet figure eight fish. Just going to give this a nice bend, get it as straight as we can. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's not going to damper the blades at all because the cool thing about these musky frenzy baits uh, is a one piece clevis. So they're always, the blades are always 180 degrees apart. So they'll always spin no matter what. Uh, you can put as many bends in this wire as you want. These blades are gonna spin. It's a really cool part about Nick's baits and it allows you to run two different uh, blades here. So this is a number eight Colorado and a number nine Indiana. This is the eight nine combo. Really nice bait from Nick. And like I said, the second time I've had to straighten it out today. Standard black and nickel, hard to beat, but uh, I'll show you guys this fish and we're going to get back to fishing because we're not even to the best part of the spot yet. All right, I'll show you guys this fish quick. 
Super cool strike, and then uh, I'll go through why I just switched rods or why you guys saw me do that. This fish is a perfect example of why I wanted to. I was kind of thinking it might that might happen, and it did first cast. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Right. Here's our little fish. Nice pretty one, really nice spots. But uh, awesome figure eight, like I said. Chasing it around and around, loved it fast, loved it high in the corners. I get my net to stop making noise here. But pretty fish, we do have a storm rolling in here and these fish are all amped up. Like I said, this is our third fish of the day. But uh, we're gonna get this fish back and I'll go through why those rods, why I made the rod switch. I don't think this one's gonna take too long. Pretty fish though, look at the spots. There she goes. See ya. All right guys, so let's talk about rods for a little bit, okay? We've got two different rods here. Uh, if you guys see in right in the beginning, I took a, the bait off this rod here. This is a Thorn Predator, uh, nine foot 10, heavy minus a half. So all that is is it's their heavy blank, uh, extended 10 inches and then I actually had them take a, a half inch off of the tip so it's a little bit stiffer so this is like my spring rod or like my little bucktail uh, little blades whatnot uh, there's a lot of tip to it okay it's, it's got a lot of a lot of flexibility in the tip it's really nice for throwing those light baits a long ways um, but what it can happen too is sometimes in the figure eights you can get overpowered by your blades if you're throwing too big of blades with too light a rod you're going to get a lot of bend in your rod and it's it's going to be a lot harder to really power through those turns. Um, so I wanted to go with something a little bit stiffer, especially with the wind uh, and how I saw those fish act earlier this morning. They liked it really fast and aggressive. So I went up and I grabbed my other Thorn Predator, uh, but this is their 9 foot 10 extra heavy. Uh, so this is a little bit stiffer blank. There's more backbone to it. It's not as soft in the tip. So when I'm going through my turns, I can power through them a lot better. Uh, and I don't have all that bend in my rod and it's not so uncomfortable. It's not so hard to really maneuver that bait through those corners and pull it fast and whatnot. Uh, but just having the different kind of rods is really crucial to also throwing your baits further, but also getting them to work both side the way you want as well. So if you guys are looking to get into musky fishing or you are into musky fishing, look to varying up your rods so that you can get your baits to perform the way you want boat side. All right guys, this video is gonna get cut a little short due to weather. Uh, I just checked the radar and it is not looking good. Uh, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to get off the water here. I'm gonna just, I got like 35 minutes before I'm back home. So I wanna get at least to that area just to be safe. And if I got time, I'll keep fishing, but uh, it's pretty nasty. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and learned something from it. And I will see you guys on the next one.